Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Kenza Yus from Morocco. So first, I'd like to thank Chloe for inviting me at this event. So here's my idea. Let's say that the internet is a huge box of thoughts from people all around the world. These people express their thoughts in their language and only people that, that speak that language can understand them. But what about the others? Because I only speak the Moroccan dialect, should I be forced to only know Moroccan people's ideas on the internet? And if I don't speak Spanish, should I never know what the Hispanic people have to say? And let's say that I never had the opportunity to learn English. Is it normal that I'll never know what the Americans and British and Australians and all the English speakers think, say, no? It's very simplified, but you got the point. So, I imagined a social network that would not use the common languages, but instead only pictures and drawings and pictograms that would be, for example, standardized. And I know what you'll think. You'll think that learning a whole new language just for a social network is too much. But think about it. Think about MEMS, for example. How? Most of the teenage users of the internet, if not all of them, learned the MEMS meanings. I know it's just around 10 images, but um, imagine it with the plenty of other words and expressions like how, why, society, development, equality, and imagine all of the users of this network from all around the world with their cultures and traditions and experiences and mentalities expressing commenting and developing each other's ideas so that we actually use the internet as a way to travel and to learn from people all around the world without boundaries. Thank you.